All right, well, let's get a check of our next weather, Paul. Good morning. How much Lululemon do you have <laughs> in your closet? Uh, it's, it's not zero. Yeah. Oh, they, hey. They, they've got great guys' clothes, too. I'm going to throw it out there. Kind of started off with women's going to, they've got a great men's selection as well. So when I work out, sometimes it's in Lulu. Uh, here we go. Frost advisory. Inland Empire. If you're going out for that morning jog, it's going to be brisk. The entire Inland Empire is under a frost advisory, and it's going to be colder tomorrow morning. So plan on a repeat Saturday and also Sunday. Morning temperatures between 32 and 36 in and around Agora Hills, West Lake Village, east on the 101 to Calabasas. You're under a freeze watch for tomorrow morning. It is chilly outside. High wind watch, not for what's going to happen today, but tomorrow night and mainly on Sunday. Another round of strong wind, the five along the grapevine, the San Gabriels and also the Ventura County Mountains, same spots that were very windy yesterday, will be windy once again on Sunday. 41 in Riverside, 43 in San Bernardino. We're warming up a bit, but we're just getting off of our morning lows, which were in the 30s for many of you. Burbank, Simi Valley, 44, downtown Los Angeles, 49, Santa Ana, 50. Orange County, you're going to shake this cloud cover, which is out there right now. Some clouds are passing overhead. They're gone by 10. So we're going to have a sunny and somewhat mild afternoon. You'll be at the 63 degrees at lunchtime. Watch the change in Santa Ana on Sunday. That's when temperatures drop to the low 60s. It'll be breezy and cooler on Sunday in the wake of another front that's going to pass by to our east. The uh, setup of the jet stream right now is such that storms aren't coming in from the west. That was all of last winter. We got storm after storm after storm, and they weren't necessarily cold, but they were wet, and we got 30 inches of rain last year. This pattern is different. We have just as many storms coming, but they're coming up and over a ridge of high pressure, then sliding down over Nevada and Utah. That's a drier pattern for us, so flooding is not a concern. It's also a colder pattern for us because it's allowing the cold air to continue to filter all the way down into Southern California. So not that wet over the next week, but certainly it's going to feel like winter. It's going to be chilly outside. Morning clouds are gone, sunny but brisk afternoon. It'll be mainly clear overnight tonight. That's why temperatures tomorrow morning will be even colder. We won't have that blanket of cloud cover. The next front will give rain and mountain snow to areas to our north. We could see a few snow showers in the San Bernardinos and in southern Kern County up toward the grapevine. But the legacy of this front is another push of that cold air, Irvine. 62 degrees, Altadena on Sunday for a high, only 54. So Inland Empire, sunshine across the board. Look at the highs. Mid-60s today, tomorrow. Mid-50s on Sunday. And not even getting above 60 degrees for the first half of next week. So it's going to be chilly for a while. That's your forecast. See how the roads are doing. Here's Kalina with traffic.